Hey you guys, streamer 37 x are bringing you episode 36 of Ep Epic Battle Fantasy V version 2. Last time, we made more progress into Freeze Flame Dungeon. Uh, nearing the end, almost got to the end, um, of clearing up the Flame Half, which I did second. Um, we just have this one encounter left, and uh, let's just hop into it. Um, depending on how long this takes and how much prep I do for the boss, which probably won't be that much, uh, we very well may end up at least attempting the boss today. Um, just because I... Uh, this boss really is not that challenging. It's not even that much harder than the first boss, who is easy even when you only have three party members. Um, and we have five here, so it's... It's it's not going to be that bad. And at least it certainly hasn't been in any of my previous playthroughs. <laughs> so I'm pretty confident this is going to go just fine. All right, let's let's see how you do here. Not quite. Okay. Uh, I just realized I don't know if I've used Anna a single time last time. Uh, she would be good here though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna swap her in for some stunning. I should have done that last turn. Okay. Uh huh. Let's also have eruption weather here. That's not that big a deal. At least so far, at least with these enemies, with the jetfish at least, well, bomb is boosted by dry, but thunder isn't, so uh, potentially the dry could be a good thing in, in some cases here. That stunned him, so that won't hurt us. Okay. I did forget about that, but, you know, that's, a, that's, that's, okay, we got a stun anyway. That one's gonna hurt, that's, uh, yeah, he was dry, so that actually hurt a fair bit. Um, but uh, that, was, that was probably still worth it, to be honest. I'm just gonna have him heal. He can't even buff himself. Could use like a beer or something. I forgot I need to stack up on beer. Um, I'll probably do that after this dungeon. I don't think it'll be necessary to do it while I'm here. Okay. I need fire. You guys aren't particularly good at doing fire. Let me, let me bust out lands here. I was not expecting that to kill them all. Y'all fly by, okay. Oh, you know, this is probably gonna have a defender in it, isn't it? Yeah, because when I was on the other side, I fought a bubbler, I was like, okay, this side will probably have a defender, but I'm not sure how they'll squeeze that in. But uh, <laughs> based on this fight, this is definitely looking like it's gonna be a, bu uh, a defender. Um, which, I mean, I took care of the bubbler without too much problem, really, so hopefully it'll be all right. We'll see. I definitely will want to get one jetfish alive and we'll do another round of setup, though, before we carry on. Uh, please hit one of the fish. Okay. At least it didn't hit the bottom flybot. That, that certainly would have been worst case scenario. So it, at least we didn't get that. Still not ideal. Um... Oh wait, you know, he wasn't buff. That was actually, okay. Surprising that worked as well as it did. Okay, let me do this. I need to heal, and then I'm gonna have him do a, probably a Moab. Kill, should kill the Flybot. Probably won't kill anything else. Well, it might kill the bottom fish, actually, because of the dry. Oh, mm, okay. I didn't want to get stuck with a Flybot. But considering it's gonna be kind of annoying to do setup now, uh, I guess on this guy or freeze him or something. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, that's fine, I guess then. Okay. Oh, here, let me let me get a quick whack in to get him down to the point where I should be able to one shot him next turn, or whenever I feel the need to. Okay. Okay, actually, two more. No, I'll be able to freeze him one more turn, and then after that, he'll actually just die from the the attack that freezes him. Uh, so that's that's honestly fine, though. Okay. Extra turn, two turns away, one turn away on that. Okay, I'm not sure I'll end up bothering. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna kill him actually. Okay. 
All right, Defender, who, who are you bringing with you? A couple flybots? Okay. Mm, I really should take care of them. Oh, you know, I shouldn't have... I forgot I really like to weaken this guy, or weaken these guys when they first come in. That's my bad. That's usually something I, I prefer to do on my very first turn if I can help it. Okay. Oh, that's good. Can we get another one of those? <laughs> Okay, that's fine, though. Hopefully it won't flip anyone's buffs. No, no, okay. <laughs> I was pretty confident that, that was just gonna end up hitting her. All right. Let me just put you in the back up here. Uh, okay, let me, let me, let me do this. I'm just, I, I, I wanted No Likes to be able to use his attack. Oh, I need to catch this guy too, okay, good to know. Let me, let me try this. <laughs> of course. Okay, we got the, we got the crap, well, no, it's not, it's the second, second crappiest counterattack. That one's a bit annoying. This will probably work. Yeah, okay. It, it had enough hits that that was pretty likely to turn out alright. Okay. That's fine. Accuracy does need to get sorted out here. Thirty percent probably won't quite be enough. Isn't there a move that cleanses debuffs? I think Dispel does, doesn't it? Cancel debuffs. Yeah, I, th this is this is a, a functionality of that move. I don't. I probably don't use nearly enough because that is pretty helpful. Fifty-eight. Yeah. Okay. So we're we're we're, we're good to go here. <laughs> That's yeah. It's something I really probably should use more often than I do. Let me weaken again. That should be all the weakening we'll need for this fight. Is that a? Nope. Not a counter. Good. Very good. Okay. Yeah, for the brave, this is this is worth re-upping. The twenty the twenty damage wouldn't be enough on its own for me, but uh, inflicting giving him brave is very helpful. Okay. Yeah. All right. She's not gonna be using that again for a while. We'll do a bookworm, I guess. What else is going to be useful? We're, I'm going to start stacking a few status effects just because we're going to want them for the capture eventually. I don't think anyone has any capture gear on right now. <laughs> really? Oh my god. Oh, I'm getting tired of that. Oh, that would have been perfect. That, that probably would have inflicted curse too. certainly won't kill and has a good chance of inflicting uh, curse. Okay, actually, I forgot that last hit really needed to hit there, so that was probably needlessly uh, risky, but... Um, okay. Uh, I mean, at this point, it's really just a matter of time. He's not really going to be doing much damage anymore. I can probably go for capture, like, next turn. Oops, I guess he has firecrackers. Okay. He's, the, the, this should be more than enough here. Okay. Easy peasy. Yeah. Alright, way over capture. Alright, so we got that. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. It certainly was a lot easier, I feel like, the, than the first time I was fighting these guys. Okay. Devil's Fork. This one I have not seen in Equip Remix yet. Let's take a peek. It's still fire, so it's almost, right off the bat, it's almost assuredly going to be outclassed by the Inferno. This thing is so good for dishing out fire. This is, this is so good for, like, one turn, one turn kills. Um, 
I'm gonna cast Slime Mouse. Isn't that the electric one that can stun? Uh, I don't know if I've even seen one yet. It appears as though I haven't. But I think that's like the single target, the little baby yellow slime that can stun. I think it's like a 100% stun chance. So that's actually pretty okay, to be honest. Um, right off the bat. Interesting resistance that it can burn, which is not super common. Randomly cast Big Lava Slime. Um, how's that one go again? Big Lava Slime. Uh, I know it caught one, right? Have I not caught a Big Lava Slime? Did I somehow totally miss that? Oh, here it is. Okay, jeez. Um, single power. Oh, so this is this probably casts volcano, doesn't it? <laughs> so one of Matt's fire weapons may unleash volcano, and his other fire weapon can randomly ca can randomly cast volcano, basically. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, let's let's do one more. Right. Wow, that's interesting. Okay. Randomly cast slime bunny. You know, oh, this is this is triple immunity. You, you know, I said it was gonna be outclassed. This is actually not too bad. This is more support than infer inferno. Like this is a weapon you equip when you can dish out enough damage that you can like one shot high priority targets or like take out like half of a boss's HP in one attack. We will be doing that when we get to Laurelin. Um, this is. This is pretty good. Free Slime Bunny, potentially. You get triple status immunity. 100% three-turn burn. This is better than I thought it was going to be, guys. I'm going to be honest. This is actually not bad. <laughs> I can see myself using this in, in some some situations. In general, I'd rather have the Inferno. Um, like, for, this, for, the, for the boss right here, I'm probably just going to use the Inferno. And I'm just going to try and completely decimate one of the... Uh, one of the... Which one is... Scotty, I think. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and head up here. Let's let's take a look at our new... Oh, what do you have to say? Okay. Uh, let's take a look at our new weather options for this fight. Okay, sorry about that. Got interrupted. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and check what our weather options are. So let's start over here. I did already... I, I had to just... Re I had to just go back down and come back up. So I already scanned these guys. Uh, but over here we have Sacred Land. Um... Either you get good luck or regen between turns. If the enemy gets regen, we can dispel. Regen is really bad. Uh, but if they get good luck, uh, I don't care that much. And if we get either of those, it's very good for us. So this one is okay. I think this is the one I, I'll probably end up going with. At least I think that's the one I did um, uh, the last time I fought. When I fought these guys for the ace medals. Uh, over here we get cursed land. Um, which gives you doom between turns. Uh, needless to say, the bosses are immune to that, um, and if we get it, then we have to heal it off ourselves within a couple- So it's- it's not a huge... problem. The, basically, you either have one that can help the bosses, and it can help you, versus the other one that can only hinder you, but it's- It can't help the bosses at all, so it's only isolated to your side of the field, basically. Um, in general, I think I'd rather go for the other side. Um, so, now for equips, let me see. I don't... Do they still share a weakness of bio? No, they don't. They actually only have fire and ice weaknesses, respectively. Um, so, you, you can't do the, the middle ground, which, honestly, a lot of the time I didn't anyway. Um, I'm probably just gonna go with Infer- well, uh, you know, this weapon is actually really nice for this fight, though, isn't it? Y you know, I did just get it. The Inferno's gonna have plenty of time to shine. I kinda wanna try this, actually. Let me do that. Wow, he is packing against Fire and Ice. I believe these guys also have some Earth attacks. I think that's it, though, as far as elemental coverage. Um, so, <laughs> Matt's actually pretty well stacked here. Um... Let me see what you have. Mm, 
I'm probably just going Nimbus. Well, actually. Yeah, let's do that, actually. Let's be a little more, a little more well-rounded. Skirt that protects against ice. Pretty good. Uh, although, I guess I should make sure that Ana has some sort of coverage here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, sure. I don't think she's gonna have- I don't think either of her weapons- Oh no, she has one that does ice, okay. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. Dark and fire, that's about as good as that's gonna get. Water... You really don't have much going on here, man. <laughs> do you have any useful stats effects you can inflict at least? Um... Another source of tired? I honestly, I might go leaf shield. I think no legs is gonna- It's gonna be hard on the sidelines this time. Yeah, he's he's probably gonna mostly be on. Oh, I forgot he has a crossbone pin anyway. For yeah, okay. He, he's gonna be on the sidelines this time. I'll give you the buckler. Okay. Um, I I do think this fight is gonna go pretty well, so I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a shot right now. We'll see how we do. Um, originally I was gonna try and pick him off one at a time. We have a lot of defenses here, so I actually think that we can just completely annihilate one of these guys very early on. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start setting up for that. Um, although, actually, hold on. If I'm gonna do that, I might as well just go all in and, and go for the Inferno. I'm gonna see how it goes. Obviously, I mean, we don't want to kill them outright, but we can put... We probably could. That's the thing. Honestly, I think with Legend plus Cleaver, we can actually just completely annihilate Scotty. Oh, well that's nice. Okay. Wow. Alright, well you're not going to be hitting anyone anytime soon. Um, damn. Alright. So, this will be a couple turns set up. I'm gonna bring no legs out here. I'll probably have Ana start dishing out some some status effects in the meantime. Um, let me. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a little defensive at the start here, and then we're gonna just kind of take off from there. Uh, so I think we want. Yeah, let's let's just do arrow rain. Uh, they're resistant to it. Okay. Soul is not gonna be hitting very much here. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Look, we gotta. <laughs> thing all the way over there. Okay. I'm not sure how that didn't inflict the status effect, actually. Oh, because it's only 80%, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Um, let, let's just see what we get out of a legend. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me... Let me go a bit more all in on this. Oh. Mm. Uh. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. Nice. Okay. I don't think a cleaver will kill, but a cleaver will leave that thing really hurting. It should still be... Oh, no, the dry ran out. Okay. Uh, but he also has an extra turn, so that's fine. Uh, Alright, no legs. Well... Nah, okay. Alright, let's, let's just do this. I'm mostly just gonna ignore the ores for now. Uh, here, let me... Let me get dry. Okay. That's fine. Let's just go for the cleaver. This is gonna hurt a lot. <laughs> No, no, uh, no volcano at the end, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, you you can see the the pure devastation that this sword. That was that was actually two infernos that I missed out on. I missed out on one from the unleash, and I missed out on one from the cleaver. Um, <laughs> that really shows how insane this weapon can actually be. Um, I mean, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna need to start. Mm, really. Oh, it is bless. Oh, that. Oh, that's actually annoying. How did you get bless? You know, I'm actually not positive how that happened. Um. Okay. Well, that needs to go away. If 
by all means. Okay, it'll, it should be gone next turn. Okay. Uh, so we got burn. Um, I'm gonna lay on like a couple couple of status effects here, but we should pretty much be all right here. We got that. Let's just do basic baby attack. Okay. Um. Honestly, this is probably gonna be enough. This might even be, yeah, this might even be more than necessary. I forgot they have like, n they have like no debuff resistance either, which is really unusual for a boss. Yeah, two shakes. <laughs> cool. Uh, all right. I mean, now she's gonna attack twice, but we're really not that worried about either. We have really good coverage for fire and ice, so this this. <laughs> It's even easier than I remember it being, to be perfectly honest. This is kind of a kind of a joke. Um Well, let's actually start. You're not gonna be doing much with this this old thing anymore, so. <laughs> he can actually afford the uh I haven't upgraded this that much yet. But to have a good legend, I think it might be worth it. Well no, because this inflicts chill. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay. Uh, I do want to heal up a little bit here. Certainly, it's not going to be. It's going to take a little bit longer to get Soul down to a point where uh, we'll be able to go for the capture. But uh, it's not going to be that bad. Just because we don't, we don't have quite the offensive output for ice attacks as we do for fire. Why don't you just attack three times? Oh, that must one of them must have been a counterattack. Okay, right. So this is not gonna be that strong. She's not weak to water, but it'll inflict chill, or it won't. Oh, ah, oh, I always forget that ice and chill are lumped together. Unfortunate side effect of, uh, of how things are organized here, but that's okay. Let's have good luck. Yeah, let's try that. I guess I should should have done that first, but oh well. That looked like it could have been a counterattack. Yeah, I think it was. Okay, Lance might actually die here. <laughs> Got a miss on both of them. I actually think I need to bring them out from the backup just to heal them, because uh, <laughs> they're they're taking a pretty bad beating back there. All right, let's do that. Not very often that happens. Alright. Um, actually, you know what? You can stay. Let's, let's do this. Okay. That'll, that'll help to speed things up a little bit here. Or is I'm not really that... Uh, okay. Oh, alright. Oh, my god. <laughs> Did absolutely no damage to the boss, but, uh, you know. Certainly got those ores taken care of, that's for sure. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I forgot that wet combos just as well with ice. I don't really know what I was even thinking with the with, with the whole chill debate. It was not it was not even the best option. Alright, let's just do that. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay. Yeah, your attacks are really hurting with with the, at 30 30% power you're hitting me with. I'm real scared here, man. Real scared. Uh, let's try and get guy. Let's try and get tired on there. Okay. We'll probably be able to capture it next turn. Mm, doesn't flick scorch. That's that's noteworthy. Did forget about that. Uh, but needless to say, I'm really not too concerned here. Okay. Yeah, honestly, I think I think this is just gonna work. Oh, well, we might be a bit short actually. We don't have the evade debuff this time. Yeah, okay. A little bit short. That's 
Certainly not a problem. Okay. Uh, now she has burn, which might be useful for her, but still helps our capture. Oh, well, that got rid of it. Okay. Mm, well, in that case, we'll just do this. I forgot I upgraded uh, uh, firecrackers, so. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. Super easy boss here. I forgot how easy this fight actually is. Okay. <laughs> Certainly the Inferno helped a lot, too. I actually think we could have... If, if I had gotten both Infernos that I had missed against Scotty, I actually think it, she probably would have died. Uh, it, the Inferno is just insane. We're going to be using that uh, also probably against Lorlin. Uh, for anyone who saw my Aces video, um, you'll, you'll, you'll see the, the kind of power we're dealing with there. I realized I wasn't even paying attention when I was opening this chest, so let me just load the save. Okay, so it's just that. Uh, yeah, okay. So nothing useful. We got that card. Let me let me go ahead and check what that one is. Uh, the ice might. I don't know what the ice might do, but uh, you get max plus one max SP, so it's not too bad. Uh -huh, Scottish killed. Got the juggernaut, which I think is a really bizarre, very interesting weapon for for Anna. Another card, the Lava Slime. Also plus one max SP. Oh, right. Why is that there again? I don't remember why those are there. Oh, actually, there's, uh... It's not like... Yeah, okay, it's, it's a hidden thing on each side of the screen, also. This one's here, okay. did forget about those. Yeah, I, I don't actually remember why those teleporters are there. Just for convenience, I guess. Okay. So, let me go ahead and check these weapons, or these equips. We got Scottish Kilt, boost damage of water skills. Pretty good stat spread, honestly. Um, let's do a save so we can see a little bit more of it. Emperor's chance of catching foes at max level. You get 15 to offense, 30 to defense, 15 accuracy. That's really good. This is actually pretty solid. Um, I mean, the, the weakness to freeze and chill is kind of unfortunate, but, um, improves foe catching and it's got good stat lines, so that's actually a pretty good one. Uh, oh, sorry, this is the Iron Tusk. Okay, no, this is, I don't think this is the thing I, this isn't quite the one I thought it was. Um, I was, I was actually thinking of that one, never mind. <laughs> sorry, this is the Iron Tusk. Um, these, these downsides are pretty bad. But the stats look good. Non-elemental and bomb. So basically non-elemental includes um, saw blades. And that's about it for the vast majority of the game. Uh, there's, I think, one new extra skill that's non-elemental. But that's about it. Um, but it's a bomb weapon. Inflict stagger. A free war mammoth. Anything that gives a free war mammoth effect is, is something to think about. I don't know what it looks like at max level. But that one looks okay. Um. I do like the kilt. I'm tempted to level this up again and keep it that way, but satin is kind of premium, so I think I'll pass on that for now. Um, but alright, that is that. Um, not too bad, all things considered. By far, the hardest thing in that entire dungeon was the <laughs> um, was probably the, uh, the mimic encounter. Um, the mimics on faux remix do not mess around. They, they are actually very challenging. Um, I just remembered this. Okay, this I think is what we're going to do next time, actually. Uh, I was going to say we're going to head into Mystic Woods. But, actually, I'm going to leave this for that one ice patch. Um, yeah, I mean, we still have this to do. So, actually, I think we're going to do this next time. Um, and then after that, we're going to head into Mystic Woods. Uh, a lot of this side stuff, I'm waiting until I have... Uh, the revive skill because uh, it's kind of useful and it, it'll save me a lot of coffees uh, later on um, but all right that's gonna do it thank you everyone very much for watching if you like this video please like comment subscribe all that good stuff check the description for a link to my twitch.tv channel um, I stream Monday Wednesday Friday 6 to 9 p.m. EST um, I'm streaming some Terraria 1.4 final update uh, with my buddy sacred um, I'm doing my ultra challenge run of this game got some other stuff coming up in the future i want to start doing like maybe flash friday um with flashpoint 
uh, every once in a while just playing some of the old classic Flash games. Um, we got the Isaac DLC coming up later this year. Uh, Minecraft update coming out very soon, actually. Probably by the time this video goes up, I suspect we'll have started doing that, or will be starting very soon. So uh, if you want to see some, some of the Nether update, uh, I'll be doing that as well with some friends. Some viewers probably as well. But uh, yeah, check the Discord to keep up to date with all that. Ch talk about games, all that stuff. Appreciate ya. Thank you again for watching, and next time we are going to hop into the first glitch portal. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later.